I don't remember vlogging this week, guys. But we're at Walmart. I'm getting this cute shirt. She's picking out paste. Yes, I have sunburn. We had to drop injury. had to drop her man off at the airport this morning. Yeah. I think she's pretty sad. But yeah. I wonder if the stuff I want is actually in like the hardware section. Um. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, you guys, you guys, you ever heard of Gucci slides? Well, we got Grogu slides. <laughs> Will they fit your big feet? I don't know what size are they. They're like a nine. I have an eight, I, I'm an eight and a half, nine, I think. So guys, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks, but you know, um, we are having an exciting adventure today. We are at like this animal preserve thingy. We're gonna see a bunch of like cool looking animals. Animal adventure. And we're going to hold baby kangaroos. Of course, we've got mom here. We've got Lauren here. This is Lauren. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get tour started. So we'll post pictures and clips in this. We're gonna get to hold baby kangaroos. So mommy's so excited about. It. I'm hungry. <laughs> They went ahead, they rescued Kona for, the, uh, for her. Now, Kona came from a very bad situation. We have Joey and Phoebe at the other park right now. Now, they're Rachel. still babies. When they're full grown, they can get up to 150 pounds and up to two feet at their back. Now they are considered the hippopotamus of the rodent family. They have the web paws. The doctors are having a hard time prying them out. It's because it works like a barbing effect. So if they get stuck in you, they really get stuck in you, and they're not an easy thing to get out. Now I know Aww. she does seem like a very large rodent, but those capybaras, once they're full grown, they will be larger. Sorry, dude, I have no sweet potato for you right now. I forgot to put on my fanny pack. Tell me I have a sweet potato. Dude. So we just held a baby kangaroo and now we're petting a big kangaroo. <laughs> Predator to the kangaroo in Australia is the dingo, which is a wild dog. So that was this week's vlog. 
pretty short. Sorry that ended on a weird note. Um, it's been a really, really rough, like, week, two weeks. Um, and I'm not going to go into details, obviously. Um, I'm not even going to go into any of it, but I'm just going to say that it's been a really rough couple of weeks for me. And, um, I am excited to just get back to Vermont in literally less than two months now and see where that takes me with the new job and with my dance family and my friends. So yeah, but anyway, that's this week's vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed because that was a really fun day. That was actually yesterday, which was the 21st <laughs> of October. And yeah, so we'll see what next week brings, I guess. And I guess that leads me to the question of the week, which is if you could have any animal as a pet, which animal would you have? And I would definitely say a fox. I would definitely say a fox. Um, I feel like my mom and Lauren would say kangaroos at this point because like we all got to hold baby kangaroos and they were like in love. I mean, so was I, but foxes have been my favorite animal for like so long. But yeah, that's the question of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. Hopefully I'll have one on Friday and I love you guys. Bye.